<laughs> That's funny, actually. Yeah. Shout so out we, to Viva Green. We got Darkshed stepping up. Um, it, it said the name of his opponent, and I saw it. I forgot. Dres Dresden? Okay, yeah, Dresden, uh, Bale player. So we're going to be seeing uh, Bale versus Ryu. Definitely an interesting matchup. Um, I mean, it's obviously one that we see a lot. Mm -hmm. But, yep. like, the dynamics of it are interesting. Yeah, both characters. Definitely something we've seen, especially today on our stages. But, uh, should be exciting seeing Dark Chat to treat, man. This guy, he's very good. I love it, man. I was sitting near him in the crowd, and he I wasn't even saying a word to Dark Chat. He looks over, he's like, did you know he threw the bomb in his feet so he'd have rage to get that kill? And I'm like, damn! He's like, nah, I'm just messing with you. I'm like, why'd you even tell me that? Like, what? <laughs> That's something that I would say. <laughs> Dark Chat's funny. Dark Chat's because he has his headphones on, and you just assume he can't hear anything around him, and he starts talking to you, you're like, Oh, you can hear me, and then tells me that, and then just says, nah, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I believe it. That's some next level I stuff. I did. I was like, damn, dude, that's crazy. He's like, nah, Locust didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> well, we're going to game one. Or button check. Uh, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, game yeah. one. Game one. When they're both walking at each other like yeah. that, you can Oh, he, he's definitely, he's creeping, like, as soon as he's, like, off stage, he has all his resources available to him, he's looking for that down air. Just anything. Already at 82%. Dead. Dead. Eighty-two percent. What do you mean? He's dead. I'm trying to like, like, figure out what like Dark is even doing, but he's already taking the stock. He had a read that he's like he wants to approach. He's a bayonetta, and you just have smashed him. Oh, that was a nice little conversion, though, Tristan. Yeah, Dark Shad did did a good job, like making sure he wasn't above Bayos, like during that which just combo. So he fell out to the bottom. So he's only getting hit by damage instead of you know a potential lethal follow up at the top. Oh, it looked like Dark Shad was ready for that. Uh that wish time right there. Holding on the focus saying, you probably want center stage. I might be able to catch you with that Ooh. was good. Yeah, he tried to pull a Captain Zack there. Unfortunately, didn't get the last hit. Yeah, the last hit really sending out so far, but still putting up the pressure on the Dark Shad. You got to secure the stock, though. That's the one issue against the Ryu, man. You don't secure that stock. Next thing you know, they got 100 plus, and you're at like 60. I, I couldn't. I wouldn't be surprised to see like a Nerda up the kill, or just a up tilt. Okay. Yeah, not going to actually get it just yet. I think uh, Drissi before the hit was at like 60% even or something yeah. like that. So a little more rage though. That actually yeah, Dark Shed needs to get Dark Shed needs to get hit a few more times. Yeah. Or not, not maybe, that, not maybe not that, that hard, yeah. you know? He wanted wits twist hits, not your back air. Oh, okay, Ooh. scooped him up with the, the second hit. Has falling that reverse up? hitbox. Oh my god, he's falling up so well. 53 out of nowhere. Yeah, definitely. A lot of good percent here, but the balloon kind of shielding Dark Shad a little bit. As well as getting Grissin out of there to some extent, because like his yeah. utility was running really low at that point. Landing there, Ooh. really smart, spacing it correctly, finds a down tilt. Here we are. Oh, Ooh. yeah, not gonna get the uh, the last hit, but he's definitely had the air dodge scouted. But this back air, not enough. Not yet, but calling it the second time, Grissin has been punished really hard for witch timing. Okay, tried to like roll back to punish that, but it ended up rolling right into that and in, uh, getting bon like vulnerable frames where he got hit by the the afterburner kick. Okay, at the ledge, dead. Yes. Okay. okay. I was gonna say. Calling out the jump option, something that Bayo really likes to go for because you have so much utility to use as soon as you jump in the air. Yeah, man. Despite the strong start from Dark Shed, uh, Tristan kept up really well just because he could build up damage just as fast as Dark Shed, assuming he got like his combos and advantage state going. And which, like, he did not mess up his combos, and even after he kind of reset in neutral again, he was so good at like spacing his landing there, leading to down tilt, leading to all at more damage and more damage. So. This game, even though, like you said, off the start, lost the stock really early, still very, very close. Um, I'd like to see how it goes when he just doesn't get erased in like 12 seconds. Yeah. I mean, like, already off to a much better start. 60% climbing, going off uh, the top, you're and dead. what, you're gone! Okay, so yeah, this game starting off a little better. Um, and now with a wits time. Oh, oh no, come oh. on! Hit him! <laughs> get just zero to death him, just touch him! You know, give him that one at least. Come on, man. That was one of those most awkward things I've ever seen, though, because he didn't like, want to... He, he was slowly falling <laughs> below the, the platform. <laughs> he jabbed, he's like, oh, he's too low. So then he tried to down, so he's like, ah, now he's past the platform. All right, but Tristan taking his time at the ledge. Ends up getting eaten the back here on, on the way back. But such a strong start right now. Dark going to have to really bring this one on back and play patient. I mean, I could, I could see him doing it the same way that Tristan did last game. Just because, like, those hits from Rio are so strong. And he only needs an up tilt at this point, probably. Oh, for sure. Uh oh, is he getting scooped up? Oh, I love that fair. Bringing him right back on up, like oh, you said, okay. scooped. Not actually converting after the two fairs, but I love the idea, man. It's so smart. And now, kind of hanging out on the platform. It's not a bad idea. Play patient, man. Yeah, you got to pick the right option when you get hit by these bail combos, and you have to do it right away. Okay, I'm relying on bullets a lot. Like, Tristan really holding down his ground. Oh, ends up 
getting the weak hit somehow. Yeah, Shad loves going for the, uh, the jump ones, but that time just up tilt. We'll do it. 79%, not out of reach. Everybody knows what this character can do with rage as well, so. Okay, not bad. Following up, back air finds another single hit. Okay, oh, let's get out. Yeah, gets out of the last one. Dark Shad putting on the pressure, missing the uh, the, short, uh, the the fireball. Up airs for days. Shad bringing this right on back, man. Oh, and he waits up the, the witch time too. He's well aware of that option. Yeah, Dristan, I I like like he's tried witch time three times. None of them have ever connected. Shad's so aware. And that of was all even that. like a pretty good time to use it too. Yeah. Okay, not gonna try to punish the landing. Smart idea, Dristan was not in a uh, position to do that. Oh, he still made it back. I can't believe he was able to avoid that nair for so long. Mm, okay, oh, misses it. Up tilt, punish back air. Not the strong hit though, he's living. Going out there for another one. Actually clips up great tech oh, for Dark Shad. Oh my god, the trades as well. Dark Shad's at 157. This is not what you want, Dristan. You gotta finish the stock off, man. He got zero to death, but it didn't matter in this matchup, dude. Oh, the roll passed. Back air. Oh wow, he's going straight to the blast zone with the worst <laughs> <laughs> turbo DI. But I mean, he was so far from the the, le the blast zone, it didn't really matter. Okay, actually, it looks like shield poke there. I thought up air would just finish it, but instead yeah, goes it, for the fair. Yeah, he kind of landed in front of him, or ended up in front of him, and that back air is gonna seal it. Dark Shad making it back despite getting zero to death at the beginning. Oh man, that's gotta be a little frustrating for Tristan. And it wasn't like Tristan was even playing all that bad. It's just he could not. He tried nearing off stage to get the stage spike. He actually did get a stage spike at one point. Dark Shad texts it. He didn't get the up air. He got a fair instead. Like yeah. there was a lot of unfortunate things that happened for Tristan. That was a good set, though. Yeah, really. That was actually really good. That just goes to show like the strength of, of Ryu, just in his consistency to, to get those KOs. No, yeah, definitely enjoyed it. Always think Dark Shad is a treat. And man, two zero to deaths, two games. Yeah. No, that wasn't a zero to death for Dark Shad first game, but he eliminated that I mean, stock really yeah, quick. Yeah, it was definitely a, uh, a dominating stock. Yeah. Oh, this should be real good. Griffith versus Big Mac. Oh, okay. That should be exciting. Um, Griffith, I talked about Griffith earlier. Crazy, could play anything. Uh, Big Mac plays Sheik. Or sometimes Falcon. Like yeah, I believe, I believe he's uh, second in France, uh, next to next to Gluten. Yeah, is that? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about yesterday. He's French, so um, super good, man. Literally, like we said, the old anti 